Hi, my name is Jay, and these are reviews from Mob.org. Our column today should be equivalent to a rating of PG-18, because these are games that can only be played by a serial killer. Make that serial time killer. So let me introduce you to Brain Torture. Where is my water? Part 2. The terribly cute arcade game Reaper, and the hellishly merry arcade game Giant Boulder of Death. Where is My Water, Part 2, is a continuation of the original game about a green guy living in sewage, and whose water supply got cut off for the second time. My water supply used to be cut off all the time, but no one ever made a game about me. If you played the first one, don't expect anything too new in the second part here. As before, you swipe on the screen and dig a pathway for water, collecting ducklings on your way for ideal level completions. You only have three crocodiles to choose from now, and each of them needs water for their own personal needs. One of them wants to wash food, another one wants to take a shower, and another wants to play a steam instrument. What nonsense! On the whole, these do actually add some new elements to the gameplay. It's something like turning water into steam or an acid. Ah, go ahead and try it yourself. For the time being, we are going to examine a colorful arcade game named Reaper. Among the games of this genre, this one is distinguished by an incredible simplicity and beauty. Nice cartoon graphics, and the bright yet stylized characters cast memories of good old Mario and Sonic. The Little Reaper will stylishly chop enemies and collect coins and golden beans under your control. You can spend these to upgrade your hero and buy new equipment for him, for the RPG component present here will surely delight you with its simplicity and ease of use. Last but not least, I introduce you to a nice and at the same time cruel arcade game, Giant Boulder of Death. You play as, so to say, the divine scourge that descended to the worthless people below in the form of a huge boulder from atop the mountain. I wish such things happened in real life. Tilt your device and set a direction for the ball of death, and swipe across the screen to give it a push or for a jump. The game has colorful graphics and excellent stylization, which are both perfectly complemented by cool sound effects and a catchy soundtrack. On the whole, you won't get bored with these three games, and will surely get lots of pleasure and reduce your stress, which is so necessary nowadays. In general, download these games to enjoy for yourself. And if you like the review, then raise your thumb to the air like you just do care and subscribe to our channel. A lot of interesting things are waiting for you there. This was Jay with the review from Mob.org. See you soon!